Thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my very exciting co anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Yeah, it's good. Very excited indeed. That was a good show earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, was. yeah. So you need to check out Great our conversation, conversation with yeah. Bola Nolo, who is. I mean, he, he, I don't even know what to say, it's but you need to check it out mm. on our YouTube page at Plus TV Africa. And maybe his plan can help you plan your own plans. <laughs> <laughs> he has a blueprint for You know, he has yeah. a blueprint for everything. Mm. Okay, so Adele's agent has confirmed she will be releasing a new music this year after leaving us hanging for good five years. Mm. I know I'm expecting, I'm hoping for this one. Yes, Me so. too. Yeah. And, um, and since I, she's the queen of heartbreak, I think, um, but right now we just don't know if she's heartbroken or if it's the guy who is heartbroken because um so well, I mean, whatever, whatever it is patient. we'll find out in the music don't yeah worry. we'll find out yeah I mean, yeah <laughs> she'll put all that, she'll put all that, all into, that energy yeah. into her music and all and now that she's lost weight i would yeah, like to I was tell going the there difference too. Um, honestly honestly i don't think i've ever asked you guys do you prefer the slim adele or the chubby adele i think i prefer the chubby adele honestly same here but it's just natural. Like when you're used to seeing someone chubby, it's difficult for you mm. to accept them a slim a, a slim version of With them time. until they can rock it well and you get used to that part now. So well. I've not we've, you know we've not seen a proper picture. Mm -hmm. All we see is um paparazzi mm -hmm. um, taking and pictures they're really and they're not care. getting it really well. Mm -hmm. So until I these see guys from the weekend so they'll make sure they're getting know, it from the wrong, so wrong angle. Until I see <laughs> a picture from her. I don't want to choose. Okay, okay I mean, that's I think that works. A lot of people are saying that she's trying to bring out new album, um, new music now because she's broke. I mean, they're just saying that after five years, broke. Look, that's, I mean, that's Can what she people saying. understand. I said she's on drugs. I'm, <laughs> she's broke. I'm like, what? How can you people think like that? And I'm like, well, this is just jealousy, apparently. Because yeah. Well, you know, some people. Well, levels to broke, anyway. Okay. So, yeah, yeah true. Some people can be a million broke. dollars broke. Yeah, so maybe she's actually be just like, oh, I just. I, know, I still yeah. have about seven seven hundred million dollars. Yeah, Can I, I, I think I'm, I'm low on I cash. I think I'm low on cash. Let me just get it. It used to be one million. She's lost three hundred mm. already. So let her just up it back to one million dollars. Mm. Get me. And that makes sense. I mean, yeah, I mean it's something that <laughs> I was when I say I'm broke, I say you're broke. I'm like my broke is not your broke. You can still give me money from your. Home. I, I saw a post where someone said that um, I'm broke, but I'm the posh kind of broke, and she spelled mm. it as B R O Q U E broke. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm broke. Mm. Then I saw someone comment on that. I'm broke, broke. <laughs> <laughs> and then some people will say, when I tell you I'm broke, mm. it does not mean that I am. I can't buy food or mm. I can't buy clothes. I'm just telling you that I'm broke. Maybe because I need money from you or because I don't want to give you money. Oh, so, I can't. Yeah. I, I must be able to eat chicken. If not, it's not broke. I'll tell you I'm finished. <laughs> anyway, I'm finished. I'm broke. <laughs> Oh, so your own broke is on the class. Nah, you know me now. Uh, but I want to know, you know. No. Can huh. you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, let's move on to the next story. Um, this one, I don't know if it's gossip or controversial, but um, Mercy Johnson's husband is saying God God has got your back, and he's saying this to Mercy Johnson herself, as bloggers are reporting that many A-list um, actors shown her movie premiere. Um, Kemi Filani News reports that the likes of A.Y., the comedian, Yvonne Jegede, Sadi, Denrile, CC, and a host of others graced the event. However, many A-list celebrities were noticeably absent. Mm -hmm. And something came to my mind. What? Let me see if you're thinking. What <laughs> I'm thinking. You know, a lot of people, a lot of actress. Let me know because I don't know of actors, but a lot of actress has come out to say that she's a terrible person the and occasion. they don't like her. Mm. You know, so mm. maybe that's why this is happening. For me, I'm like one. What first thing that came to my mind is how many people has she supported? Because yeah, that's I'm not it's saying, all connected. I haven't mm. seen Mercy Johnson in people's movie it's premiere. All so right. why would I? Carry my full self to go to your movie premiere when you Who's don't. Who's your best friend again? Inedo, right? Mm. Yeah, no, no, I'm asking, no. like, 
there I've was so much she opened before. the production company with. What no, you? you're mistaken with your jumbo <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then apart from um them coming, the question now is did, did you invite, invite them? them? Yeah. yeah. So it's possible this is exactly what she wanted. She invited people she wanted mm. there and they showed up. I mean, if you invite them, I want to believe that if they are not on set, mm. they will find time to come and play dress up because I know our uh, celebrities love um dressing up and looking good, you know, and all that. So but that's the question is did them. she even <laughs> invite them? Mm. And secondly, the first thing I said is most important to me. I don't think she even has the right to go and invite them, especially when we've not seen her um supporting, supporting anybody's right. movie premiere. I even had to go back to, to her page check. to be sure it's not just in my head, right? And noticeably not she, she you know so and, and uh, they're also saying people are not America reposting her to. movies and all that. Has she been reposting other people's movies? Right. So I think she should just spend money in promoting the movie and if it's good because from the trailer I think I it's think, yeah. going to be a good one because I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to, to seeing it, it yeah. right? And of course we'll let you know how we feel without being biased, biased. right? <laughs> but um, I think that's a good movie so if she spends money in promoting it she'll make her money back. She doesn't that's need like the whole a first, um, That's the first movie she's going to be directing mm. so I'd really like to Producing see Producing or directing? Directing. Oh, okay. Producing, Producing actually. Yeah, Producing. Oh, she directed it. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Okay, I'm not sure about that. I'm sure. Okay, so um, for this story, I really don't want to dabble into it. I just think um, from the trailer of the movie, I really want to see it. So mm -hmm. it's regardless of who, who was mm -hmm. there, regardless of who attended and who didn't attend, the good movie would speak for itself. Yeah, right. at the end of the itself. day, yeah, it would sell itself. So it's not about the people who came to support you during your premiere. It's about how much is going into your bank, darling. And mm -hmm. I think that's the most important and thing. Because the movie is based on a true life story, mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why I'm really excited. I think it's from the Kogi Roads and the Benin Kingdom mm. Road. So mm. I'm looking forward to this one and I, I hope that she, she makes her money back because mm. um, she... Okay. So will trust me, if it's a great movie, it, it would, would tell. Mm. Itself, mm. So. And of course, she's a successful businesswoman. She has right. a hotel, mm -hmm. she has other businesses running from her. She has the show she too has on TV. She has so she's, I mean, Messi Johnson is doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, we don't know what the true state of her relationship with others in the industry is, mm. but I can say from the outside view, we can say she's doing well for herself. Yeah. So congratulations to her and good luck with. We're also expecting her on Tea Time soon to come and talk about the legend of Not Iniqui, Iniqui, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah so Iniqui. we are with Iniqui. I don't know, I'm saying, ah, is it our language? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she will tell, you tell us, right? <laughs> All right, Tea Time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling alright. Still buy. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Chrissy Tigan wants to visit Nigeria, but for a very funny reason, to find Michael. The model tweeted um, that her husband went to Nigeria for a couple of days, and she thought about going purely to find Michael from 90 days. Recall that Michael is a Nigerian man who amused the world when he began to feature in a reality show titled 90 Days Fiancé. He was engaged to a much older white woman named Angela. In their love story, Angela came to Nigeria to meet him. Okay, so my question is, why is he looking for Michael? Maybe because, you know, he was um, denied visa. Okay. He yeah. was? Yeah, he was. Oh, and sad. Angela was very angry. Is that the script of the movie, or he was really denied? <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know. That's what they are showing well, you also us. think it's scripted, right? Of course. I, I feel like it's scripted. Some parts, I feel like. Some parts, yeah. Part, maybe yeah. not everything. Of course, it's definitely scripted. Well, you know do you guys really know like... that? I'm so sorry. I know everybody out there, you're looking at me like some entertainment authority and all of that, but I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. I did not know that this Angela and Michael thing was a real reality. TV show on really? you like this weekend. Okay. The 90 Day Fiance. Yeah. So you went to watch it? Yeah. 
Yes, like I now started going and I started watching different episodes uh -huh. of it, and I think it's really it? amazing. No, I'm not done with it. I'm still watching. You but actually, I didn't you are even actually know. amazing because I just I know it's a reality show, but I've never watched it. <laughs> the only part I, I just watch the clips, clips online. online, but to go and sit down. Do you know all this? Why I thought this Michael and this Angela lady we're were just no. I thought it was just some Insta Instagram skit, like they oh. met, like a, a white woman and a black guy just came together to start doing skits just to entertain us on Instagram. Mm. Yeah, you know, because I think the problem is because when a lot of people post it, they don't make it feel like it's a reality TV show. You they just make cut it out the funny and you just yeah, 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 and like, most of them are making fun of the guy or they're making fun of his <laughs> and his or Angela or his baby or how, how she's treating him. Yeah. So it's like, Did you I just see thought the part it was a skit. She can't have um, children. Yeah, she has just one egg left mm -hmm. and it's bad. She can never have two. And then you can just see the face of Michael. Like, Michael, like. And he lied to his mother <laughs> that she's actually going to bear children. Oh, my be more, my be more. There's going to be a lot no, of fun. But, uh, I mean, from the clips I see on Instagram, it's like very funny. Mm -hmm. Very, very funny. Angela's face every time Michael is misbehaving mm -hmm. is like really like. So I had to ask somebody that. Okay, Even his own face think... when he's about to lie. Right. <laughs> Something else. And I had to ask that, um, why do you think Chrissy will be coming to Nigeria to look for? He said maybe she's, she's just fascinated. She's just yeah. fascinated by all the things he used to take mm. from this woman. That she's wondering what type of man would take all of those. Things. You know the time where she um, put the cake on his face. There was the time yeah. she accused him of stealing her money. There was the time she accused him of cheating. You know this guy has taken a lot of BS from this woman, and he's still taking it. And it's then love. at the end of the it's day, love. Mm. his green passport, and his, his green card. Yes, it's at not the end real. of the day, now he was denied visa. I mean, mm. it's just very sad. It's, it's really sad. Angela man. was so angry. Donald uh, Trump, please. So they are working. They are working on it again. Yeah, they are working on it again. Oh, game. definitely, you would be a plus. Oh, she would. I think it would be nice if she moves to Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let my company want to give her green card. Ha. <laughs> she does not want. Uh, how are you sure? Did she say that? Should have moved. I mean, it was not even an option. And when they had that conversation, As if she even <laughs> liked it. it was not an if option. Was, if, if she actually wanted this to wait, she should have even gone with him for his interview and all mm. of that. Maybe that way he would have upped his chance of getting the visa and all of that. Are you sure he, he, she did not? No, she went back he, because oh, he was okay. preparing for it um, while um, she was still, she had gone back mm. to America. So, to but show right you, I now, started they following them. They are working on it. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super proud of you too. Wow. 90 days fiancé. But it's very interesting. I mean, people should watch it. Mm. When, maybe when you're bored. It's something maybe that when laugh. there is absolutely nothing for me to watch <laughs> on Netflix. No, it's actually interesting. That's the funny thing. There's this other Kenyan lady and this other guy. So, like, you get to see different people that are actually taking a lot of things or doing a lot of oh, things. Oh, you're talking about the um, transgender Kenya? And no, 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 no. Okay. It's actually a lady, a okay. lady, a Kenyan lady and um, this white man. And the white man is actually really in love with the Aww. Kenyan lady. But she's well-spoken, so I can understand that she's very beautiful as well. So, you get to see different stories. You see Philippines, you see different people from you so no trust yeah, me I'm you sold. should watch you should mm -hmm. watch it it's really really nice okay i didn't think i'll watch it that much but michael and angela obviously mm. when i realized that it was a real thing and it was an instagram skit i was like okay, okay. let's see how this goes so most times i'm always <laughs> clicking on i'm always searching for angela and michael though uh, if eh? I'm okay, so now, you. why do you think she's coming to look for Michael? Because he's very, as in, as in, do you know his own friends were telling him, like, look, it's not worth it for a green card, all these things you're taking and all of mm. that. They keep telling him. So I think she's just fascinated that, okay, is either this is true love or maybe she's sold on the fact that this guy is actually really in love with if this I, woman. I totally just, agree with you. That she is in love. That, that is why she wants to come. I and said maybe you. <laughs> Let's just move on to the as last story. As fascinated story. as I am, so yeah. that fascinated mm, as yeah, well. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So Princess Shingo reannounces engagement to her fiancé as she shares first DM he sent that stole her heart. Recall that in 2019, Shingo ended her relationship with her Senegalese fiancé, Frederick, and mocked him online by releasing a private video mm. in which he was begging to have her back. Also, he was allegedly 
recently arrested over fraud in New, New York. Um, Shingo has now shared a screenshot of the first DM Frederick sent to her eight months ago that stole her heart. Frederick also took to his Instagram page to share an adorable video of both of them um, with the caption, I love you, at Princess Shingo. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. I've copied that DM. <laughs> <laughs> that DM is so Please. on point. I pray for you every day. I pray for you even without, without meeting, meeting you. Meeting. And I believe you're a Christian. Like better wash. <laughs> he actually and washed so that. And so many people believe that a lady like you will be materialistic. Listen. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That is just how to slide. He didn't slide I don't in think it's much. I think he was being sincere. Because yeah. so many people believe that celebrities and maybe people on TV, like once you're well known and you're beautiful and all that, they feel like so many people are on your case. Mm. You are materialistic. Oh, I cannot. And then you know her. she you know, she would want to was, prove that she's not actually like that. Dang. So she wants to print a shingle. You know when you get that type of DM. Mm. And the thing is that the guy didn't have a profile picture. So curiosity, we just want to make you know that she shared it. On her page and people encourage her to, to reply. Play. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so. That's not sliding in the DM. That's diving in the DM. Like and that's, I mean, and that's very respectful. We did it in a very respectful yeah, manner. Yeah, and godly you manner see, as well. A lot of people will just, you know, a lot of guys will slide into DM and then they're already they start with very high. silly. I'm like, so you really want me to continue this conversation like this? Mm. Come on. They, babe, they probably will start with hi. I think you have a beautiful body. You know, they start talking about some people will say hi and leave it at that. Yeah, and mm, expect for you to reply. It's <laughs> <20 more. laughs> anyway, for me, I feel like she really needs to stop putting all this on social mm. media. I mean, it's it, it's probably what she wants to do. For someone like Shingle, I don't like talking about her case or mm. even sharing my opinion because of the whole mental health Me history too. before they will say it's Elsie that said something, <laughs> you know, but I feel like you found something good. I, you know, we talked about it mm. when she posted the video mm. and was humiliating him and online like, and such really sad. So and now, well, maybe this was necessary to at least take away that previous shame, but after this one, I feel like she should just enjoy her relationship. She said they're getting married, right? Mm. She should just enjoy her relationship and just take it off the media. You can display your man, show him off, but in a very subtle way, not when, telling when I mean, when you're having issues, we, we don't like, need to know. Mm. When you guys are done, we honestly we don't, don't need to know. To know. People like, need to know um, when to draw the margin between real life and then social media. You guys are still media. on this oh, yeah, margin sorry. thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm on that DA. Okay. Like I'm okay. learning what how else to. Did you uh, learn? What else did you the guy was you? like, oh, I'm, I'm not a rich guy. I'm just a very hard worker. You know, like it was. I know so, that's the line you like. like. I so, I'm not a I'm, rich I'm guy. Not, am I a rich guy? You're not rich. At the beginning of this show, you were rich. I said I'm not broke. <laughs> okay, you I didn't say I'm bitch. I'm Keep your box. <laughs> box up. I should end the show. Thank you. And that's our wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching and having fun with us. I remember you can catch up on this episode by visiting our YouTube channel and also subscribing at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co anchors, Ewa Lua Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shinkaye, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time and stay with us.